What's up guys, my name is Hogni and in today's tutorial I'll show you how you can easily port Fortnite models to Blender in just two clicks. I've left all important links in the description, so make sure to check them. This is all for the intro, so let's get into the video. The first thing I'll talk about is the installation process. Go to Half's Discord and head to the download channel. There you can find a list of new features and an installation guide. To install the add-in and the app you need to download this archive and unzip it to a new folder. Then open Blender and install the Fortnite porting server add-on. Then tick it, and there you go! Now open the app and check for updates. It will automatically download the latest app version and update the Blender add-on. You'll need to choose the Blender version you're using for the add-on to work. Now I'll show you how to port the models. Half has an awesome custom rig made by Tasty in his add-on. To enable the rig, go to Options and select Tasty's rig here. I also recommend you to set these values here. To get the character into Blender, just simply select the one you like and press Send to Blender. And here you have the skin. You can also port backlinks, pickaxes, gliders, weapons, vehicles, props, and even emotes. Yes, you can make a character dance in Blender. I'll show you how to do it a bit later. To port everything else, you simply just select the model and send it to Blender. Sometimes you'll need to adjust some textures manually, like skin tones and some other stuff, but don't worry, most of the textures work perfectly. Also one cool thing is that you can port multiple meshes at once by control selecting them. Now I'll show you how to port emotes, they can be very helpful when you're posing a character. Unfortunately, animations did not work with Tasty's rig, so you need to switch to default rig in the options. When you've ported the character, select the armature and with it selected, choose the emote you want to port and send it to Blender. The best thing about emotes here is that Half made it so you get props ported too. Oh, by the way, keep in mind that to save the pose you want, you need to go to the frame you like and remove all keyframes. That's all for this video. If you have any problems or questions regarding this add-on, leave a support ticket in Half's Discord. I hope you found this video helpful, if so, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Also often stream on Twitch, so you can watch the process of making art there and learn. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.